I want to make music like that. Maybe not <clears throat> all of my music, but at least some of it. The Empyrean. E-M-P-Y-R-E-A-N. So anyway, today we're going to do some tropical freeze. And maybe a few other things. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I will not be mentioning a, a lot of things. Like, for example... I appreciate everyone that helped me out, but I'm good. My health care is now completely covered. And I'm totally good. So, thank you. But, yeah, you won't be hearing me shoving that down your throats. So don't worry about it. It's the last time I'm mentioning it tonight. Dark Souls 2 just got a 9 from Destructoid. Jesus Christ. Well, Yoshi's Island comes out on Friday. So I'll be streaming that. And... I will definitely, definitely be uh, doing something for that. I, remember those Yoshi's Island corruptions? I guess I kind of got into the habit a little bit, but with this game, I released the Donkey Kong Country video. I might do the Yoshi's Island corruption video for the release of, uh, of the new game. Since I'm the only one with the 3DS capture device... I am definitely going to be streaming it. Um, don't know if it's going to be that great, gotta be honest. Looks a little bland, the art style is bland, me and Direbore both agree on that. Um, yeah, the music in the previous Yoshi's Island game, the DS one, I heard was... I mean, I played it, it was fucking awful. I mean... I might... listen, I might not even get this game, to be honest. I'm going to wait for some reviews, and I'm going to see if I'm going to waste my money on that game. If it's doing well, if people seem to like it across the board, maybe I'll buy it. But if not, I don't want to throw money away on uh, a Yoshi's Island game. Kirby, on the other hand, 3DS Kirby, looks like it's going to be great. That I'm actually excited for. Remember this from DKC3? Are those rectangular watermelons? This has got to be Japan because they they manufacture squar squar watermelon. Why are you shooting fire at me, Hootie? Please. The only problem I have with Kirby games is the difficulty. So... A game like this, some would consider too difficult, and a game like Kirby, I would consider too easy. I find this difficulty to be just right. I wonder if GameSpot, or whatever they're called, Game Devour, I wonder if they're going to rate the new Kirby game like shit because it's too easy. That would be the ultimate irony. Give Donkey Kong a 6 because it's too hard. Give Kirby a 6 because it's too easy. Obla double! What the fuck are you up to, Dubla Dubla from Scotland? Oh, <laughs> 
Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh man, I'm really, really doing shitty. Six means above average, five means average. I, I love that, that system that they use. Because it's only applicable when they need to defend themselves for rating a popular game harshly. Please, what am I doing? I need to play this game better. Can you smash the watermelons? I'm gonna try. Hey, it's the furthest I've ever got. The paddle. Give me paddle! Uh, does this not seem like it would be a secret area? It's not. Oh my god. See what's going on now. I, I figured out how to play the level. Yoshi plant. Seriously, even in the Donkey Kong universe, we have to have things. But but why? Why is this thing gonna follow me though? Can, why can't these watermelons be cut by a more humane and conventional means? Fuck that. There has not been a single puzzle piece yet, and I'm thinking that I'm missing a lot of them, somehow. Again, I'm keeping an eye on the level pretty thoroughly, and I don't see anything, so... I don't know where it could be. Any of the puzzle pieces. Five of them. And not a single one.
I'll bet you five bucks. That right there is a puzzle piece. If I collect those two bananas. It's too late now. So how about that? That was delayed reaction. It was literally the one side you didn't check. Oh, fuck. Oh, that wasn't a secret. Okay. I gotta dish out some money for being wrong on that secret, huh? Oh, shit! I'm down $3,310. Fuck. Start a Patreon for all you guys. Holy shit! No. 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 They're getting really devious with hiding these puzzles. Got one. Got one. I got one. That's... That is... That is a very difficult sequence. Fruit Ninja, the level. Yes, Kimmy. That's exactly what this is. That's the kind of shit that GameSpot's talking about. If those are the levels that frustrated the reviewer who gave this game a 6, I mean, I kind of get it. it. It is a difficult level, but listen, if you take if you take your time and you develop your skills in this game and you actually pay close attention to the level, 
You can do it. It's not impossible. It's not that frustrating. It took me 10 minutes. I like difficult video games. I mean, it's just, I don't know, they're better. <laughs> I don't know. I like dying in video games. What? Does that make me a masochist? I like gambling in video games and wasting all my coins, too. Got one. Got another one. Got another one, that's three. That's a not new. That one's new. That's another new one. Rapid, rapid fire, here we go. New one. That's the other thing, too. You know, you could... You could buy those things at the shop there and they help you out. So, if you're having a really difficult time on a level, you know, you can actually make it easier for yourself. And coins aren't that difficult to get. So, no, I, I don't think this game is too difficult so far. I mean, it has some levels that are devious, like that K level that I didn't complete yesterday. That one's tough. But that's optional. You don't need to do that. You could either do it and get the extra, even more devious level, or you can uh, skip it. I don't know. It's Penguini. I appreciate the irony of a penguin wearing a flight helmet and goggles. I can get down with that. Tough fluff. Jeez, Hootie. You really let yourself go. Panicky Paddles. Oh man, this looks like a level I'm gonna hate. Alright, let's do it.
winged banana. The elusive winged banana. Seems to be a good choice for this level. Whoops. No. Oh, God damn it. I like this music a lot. David Wise still has it, man. You know, some composers you might listen to a few years after they're like masterpieces, and you're like, eh. Like Yumatsu, I still think is amazing, but he lost a little bit of, in my opinion, I'm probably wrong, because I haven't heard a lot of Yumatsu, also, Yellow Shark, please! Yellow Shark, why are you here again? I thought we were done with you in World 4. It's like... it never ends. So, Yumatsu from, you know, Final Fantasy, for those that don't know who he is, he is... He's a legend, but I mean, you wonder if the stuff he's doing 20 years later is going to be as good. I mean, it might be as technically proficient, but is it as magical? You see, these are technical terms. These are very musical terms. And I... I oh, <laughs> yellow shark! You motherfucker. And I just feel like um, some, some composers can keep it and just always produce the goods. John Williams comes to mind. But let me, um, let me go ahead and postulate something very sad. John Williams is in his 80s. Fuck. Oh god, Sharky94 is here, and, and his name is Yellow. Fuck off, Sharky94, please. He's orange, I guess. Yeah, he's orange. All right, orange shark, fine. It, he was yellow in the previous level. I guess all this dose made him a little orange. <laughs> John Williams is is a brilliant composer, and uh, we got Star Wars Seven, Eight, Nine coming out, right? Not a fan of the idea of Abrams directing them. You know what? That's not even true. I I'm glad he's directing them. I just hope that he doesn't get his crew to write them. Because for me, Star Trek was fun, but it wasn't It wasn't Star Trek. I I'm, I'm not going to get into Star Trek again, because you know how I feel. I've done this a million times. Good movies, fun movies, especially the first uh, JJ Star Trek, but just not really, not really what I want. Um, it, it wasn't necessarily very true to the spirit of Star Trek. It was more like action. So Abrams can direct action. He's good with characters. I just hope that the writer isn't Dave, Damon Lindelof or Orky or whatever these people are that he works with because they get a little bit far from what makes stuff good. Prometheus is an example. Star Trek Into Darkness is an example. I mean, you know, S Star Wars was, was a pretty simple concept with really solid characters. And I'm talking about Star Wars, you know, like Episode 4. You know, or back in my day when I called it, you know, I'm dating myself here a little bit here, but you know now when I called it Star Wars. 
Back when that's all there was, just straw hole. I wasn't alive then. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, um, you know, you had these, these great people working on Empire Strikes Back. You had uh, Gary Kurtz, who was a very good producer and knew exactly when to tell Lucas to rein it in. And then Return of the Jedi's got teddy bears in it. Well, guess who's gone? Kurtz. And, of course, Irvin Kirshner pretty much left. I mean, he directed Empire, which is considered the best Star Wars, and I would probably agree. Irvin Kirshner was, was a goddamn amazing director. And then Return of the Jedi comes around, and since Lucas left the, the guild, Director's Guild, he had to use a ghost script writer, uh, a ghost director, so to speak. So he hired this unknown director that pretty much just did what Lucas told him to do. So it, it was more or less Lucas directed Return of the Jedi, which I would consider to be the weakest of the originals. Now, I don't need to go into the prequels. I hope Star Wars 7, 8, 9 are great. I think they might be good. I'm, I'm definitely holding out hope. Um, I hear they're going back to the basics, so I'm excited. Um, I hope... My point was, I hope John Williams is alive and is able to write the score. Because if he does, I'll be a very, very happy person. I go off on tangents with sci-fi because I love sci-fi movies so much, I don't know. It's like Ridley Scott talking about, Oh, you little fucking toucan. It's just like Ridley Scott talking about, um, you know, doing Blade Runner 2 or whatever. It's like, yeah, uh, I, I, maybe not. And I love Blade Runner, but, you know. KY just posted an image from Binding of Isaac Rebirth. And it's going to move slow, but maybe it's better to see it in slow motion. First of all, the aesthetics of this game are very pleasing. I don't know why people are so down on it. I guess it's just a vocal minority, but that laser looks awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm going to get addicted all over again. No, I mean, there were a few people that, that were pretty vocally upset about the retro look, but um, I think it looks better than the Flash version. Flash has its limitations, you know? You can't really do a whole lot with it. You can, I mean, you can make it look good. I don't want to say that Flash looks like shit, because there are some Flash things that look amazing, and... Finding of Isaac looks pretty nice for what it is, but um, I'm just saying I think you can do a lot more with that custom graphics engine, even if it does have the 8 bits or 16 bits dial or whatever they're going for. I think it looks great. I'm excited. Well, in coming, you see, that's that's the only problem with the style. It's um, overdone. But in a way, if that's its only fault, then I don't really have a problem with it. It's it's easy. Developers can do the 8 or 16-bit style, or the you know retro style, whatever you want to call it. It saves development costs, it speeds up development, and it looks good. And it seems to garner a decent amount of attention from hipsters. <laughs> Let's call a spade a spade here, so, you know, guaranteed seller. See you, KY. 
I think this is the only one of these that you can just mash the button and win. I think some of the roguelike games are fun to watch, and some of them are not as fun to watch. The roguelike light or whatever you want to call them. I, you know, some of them can be overdone, and some of them just get boring after a while, or maybe aren't as visually pleasing as a, as a goddamn orange shark. I mean, look at this motherfucker. He just wants to chomp Donkey Kong's balls. See, Starbound's an example of a game that I think looks great and does not suffer at all from having the style it has because it's so well done. It's not lazy, you know what I mean? There's no shortcuts. Oh my god. Hey, if you want good graphics, I'll tell you some good graphics. Castlevania 64. Check out the graphics on Dead Skeletons. You know what I mean? Isn't Fred streaming that abomination of a game? No, seriously though, I, I have a confession to make. I actually do have a soft spot for Castlevania 64. There are some moments that are really memorable for me and, and they stick out in my head. Like there's a moment- oh fuck. There's a moment um, when you're, you're getting chased by skeletons on motorcycles, for example. And I mean, that's, that's just goddamn amazing, right? Then there's a moment where a lady vampire waters her garden with blood, so you think they're roses and they're just flowers that are bloody. Like, there's stuff like that. You get, like, chased in a garden by a madman wielding a chainsaw. So, you know, there's there's fun stuff in that game. It just, it plays like ass. It plays like a, an ass kebab. And that's really the, the only one... That and Shadows of the Empire are two games that I have fuck, a fair amount of nostalgia for that play like horrendous donkey shit. This guy come back yet? Yeah, he's back. That's it. Okay then. God, Cohagen. I, I used to love Shadows of the Empire too, whoever just said that, but listen. 
play that game now. Just just play it for, for a little bit. And just just look at the controls. Just look at them. Look at them. That's all you have to do. Unmitigated asshole. Games that control like unmitigated chunks of assholes. Is the topic of conversation tonight! Those are spikes! I'm using the Wii U pad. You know, the one with the big screen on it. This, um... You know how there was the Wiimote? Was a nickname that people used for the uh, Wii controller? This, um, Wii U gamepad does not have an easy nickname. So I'm gonna make one. Why don't we call it the Wablet? Because it's a Wii U tablet. That's terrible. It doesn't have the same ring. It just Wiimote sounded so good. You know, it just worked so well. Wiimote. in the name of hot fuck are you supposed to get that letter?
I am going to, I'm going to shit on a smurf in 10 minutes if you don't deliver the hostages. <laughs> Seriously though, well maybe, maybe if I just have the two hearts, I can just fudge it, take a little bit of damage and I'll be fine. Mike is here at the moment, um, Lemange, but we had this joke, I don't know if he's a part of it, but we, we had never been to his, his new apartment, so our plan was to go to his apartment and all of us do an upper decker. Don't even care, don't even care. All I have to do now is live. I left the end behind. Are you serious? I left the end behind? God damn it. at the same time, like three of us were just gonna shit in the top part of his toilet, which is an upper decker, if, if you didn't know. And, I mean, it wasn't actually gonna happen. I mean, it was just a joke. We weren't actually gonna do that. We're not gross. I, mean, I wouldn't have done it. I don't know about my other friends. But sure would have been funny, though. I feel as if I feel as if I should give him an upper decker, though. I mean, he might know about it now. Maybe he's watching this in the future, because he likes to catch up on my past streams uh, after they're done, so... Hi, Mike. This is Vinny from, like, a day or two ago, and I'm gonna shit in the top part of your toilet. That is all. Did anyone else have a difficult time with this level? This isn't just me, right? Like, I'm, I'm not the only one struggling with this.
time to think. Nine puzzle pieces. I got all nine of them! How in the name of fuck did that happen? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I never have to do that level again. There's a secret exit. I do have to do that level again twice, because I missed two secret exits. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm doing great. Just streaming some Donkey Kong, or just one secret exit, even so. Okay, here we go. Remember this one? God, really? Oh no. It's doing so good too. As soon as I saw that lava start rising, my, my hands started getting sweaty. <laughs> and it was over. I lost it. I lost my concentration. Sweaty is is another word for squid-like and sweaty. That motherfucker just every time that guy gets me. Okay. Alright. 
This is no, no more playing around, guys. This is it. I got it this time. I'm in full, full concentration. Getting, uh, I, I really don't know what we did to you guys for there to be problems. I really have no idea. Oh, oh my god. Shit, 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 shit. These things are going fast. Oh my god, guys, I did it! It's over! I did the level! I missed a puzzle piece, but I did the level. Fucking... I don't even care. Whatever, it's done. Rate is not good. <laughs> Jelly Jamboree. Very apt title for this moment. Smith with your wisdom here. Mabui93, you seem like a pretty reasonable and nice person. I mean, can is there an explanation for why this happens to us? We didn't really do anything. Maybe you can like send me an email or something and we can like have a, a chat about it. Stuck in the jelly. Oh, there you gotta get the jelly next to it. Oh, 
Someone's spamming vinesauce.com in their chat. I, I would almost venture a guess it's one of them, because why would any of us really want to go spam our website anywhere else? Is that what we're here for? We're here to watch streams. <laughs> would not be surprised if that's a fake to get people aggravated so they can come here and spam us. That's not something I condone in any way, shape, or form. I just want to play video games. And if someone is going to spam another website, I just have to ask, what are you doing? Like, where are your priorities? It's not even a thing that's happening, so then never mind then. Let's just, it's, it's over. You guys do what you want, have fun. Actually, compared to the last two levels, this is actually pretty good. Wait, what's this? Why does this have- oh, right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's green jelly? Green jelly gets you higher. I want jello now. Shit. Right, that's a missed puzzle piece. Maybe. Try again.
Pigeons are just rats with wings. I would... You know what, though? I would disagree. Pigeons are delicious. Don't get me... Don't get me hungry. Listen. I've had enough monkey business. I'm moving on. I'm doing the next game now. So I'll be back in just a second. I'm going to go catch a pigeon real quick. And I will be right back. Hang on. I'm trying to make this game last. I don't want to complete it too quickly. Yes, plus more. The best game on the stream. Okay, so hang around for just a few minutes, and the next game will be plus more. So, be right back. <laughs> 